I really have to do this for 50 hours, huh? Ah, whoops. I accidentally bought some meat. Wait, I can't sell it back? Why? Listen, pal, it's hard enough living as it is with the king's taxes. I can't afford to give refunds here. I've purchased 10,000 yak hides from you. And yet I'm barely turning a profit. You think I can just buy hides directly from Nate's not? I have to get the whole beast. There are 10,000 skinned yak carcasses back there because somebody only wants them for their hide. And then after you accidentally buy a single piece of yak meat, you have the gall, the attitude, the nerve to try to sell it back to me. Okay, okay, I'll keep it. My bad. Hello everyone, and welcome to a very serious old school RuneScape video. After recently crafting 25,000 pairs of yak hide pants on my area locked ultimate Iron Man, I feel like yaks as a species have done a non-negligible amount of damage to my mental health. Which leads me here to my solution. I will be taking revenge on the yaks by cooking and eating one in real life. This is a yak steak. While yaks are normally found in the tundra-like climate of the Tibetan Plateau, I was able to find a small store nearby in an otherwise ugly gray wasteland. That's right, I went to New Jersey. There I purchased one yak ribeye. The store's website describes yak as juicier than bison, more tender than beef, and lacking a gamey flavor. And today, we will be putting that to the test in a video that's admittedly just an excuse for me to feast on the flesh of my enemies. Now, if I wanted to be traditional about this, I would take the steak as is and hold it over a fire for approximately 2.4 seconds. Unfortunately, creative liberties must be taken, but I'll try to keep exceptions to a minimum. Here I have some kosher salt from my local Slayer Master, and I'm also gonna hit it with some freshly ground black pepper. There's no pepper in RuneScape. Well, there's mod peppers, but I don't think that counts. We'll just call this spice. And I'm gonna be cooking this yak sous vide, which I believe is French for like a coward. This device is called an immersion circulator, and it heats the water to an exact temperature, which theoretically allows for a perfect edge-to-edge -edge medium rare with zero chance to overcook the meat. A plastic bag is used so we're not just boiling the steak, and you really need to make sure you squeeze out as much air as you can so it doesn't float. Hmm. Some people criticize sous vide as a cooking method, saying the results are often a bit soulless compared to cooking on a grill. And that's fair, but also this steak was like 50 bucks, and I really didn't want to mess it up. I still haven't gotten this to... yeah, screw it, I'm using a clip. I'm gonna go play some RuneScape while this cooks. Here we are, 90 minutes later, and oh my god, I've destroyed this piece of meat. I'm kidding, of course. This is just what a sous vide steak looks like before it's finished. As much as I'd like to sabotage the yak, for the sake of integrity, I feel the need to give it at least a sporting chance before I declare the animal worthless. Anyway, right now the steak is gray and ugly, and we're gonna fix that with some good old cast iron. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. Yeah, the walk-off doesn't really work this time, does it? And we're back. I also went ahead and cooked a regular steak for comparison. This is just a standard USDA choice ribeye from my local supermarket. And before you say I overcooked these, I will remind you of the famous saying, the camera adds 10 degrees. It's actually not a joke. Here's a picture I took with some better lighting. As the verdict, let's grab a piece from, I don't know, here. And it's fine, I guess. It's got a lot of flavor, I'll give it that. It's not super tough but I am still chewing, so take that as you will. How does it compare with a regular steak? The beef is definitely a lot juicier. I think that's what the yak might be missing. But you don't have to listen to my clearly biased opinion. I have some friends here who are very in character and have been waiting quite patiently. Let's hear what they have to say. This yak steak's like runecrafting. Too much game and just not enough flavor. Uh, I, uh, 
How dare you? Now this one's a real classic. You can taste that it's the cows from Lumbridge Farm. For the record, the steak is from Sinclair Mansion. That's the only place I can find a cow in my area. Lumbridge Farm! <laughs> it's certainly better than anglerfish, I'll give it that. Personally, I prefer the normal steak. You can tell it's from Lumbridge Farm. I think that the results here speak for themselves. Yaks are garbage animals, and this proves it. I am superior to the yak. Wait, no, I, I didn't prove that. I proved that beef is superior to yak. I'm not- wait, if, if I didn't like the yak meat, then I'm not gonna eat it again. Isn't that what the yak wants? Did the yaks just beat me again? 